All right, so today we're covering Type Soul on the channel, guys. Apparently, Type Soul has gotten like a complete revamp or something. I don't really know the specifics of it. All I do know that the community is kind of torn in between <laughs> this update and the game being down for God knows how long it's been down because I don't really keep up with this game. But I don't know. I thought I'd check it out today. And if I actually like the game playing the game this time around, I'll actually commit to it and make daily content. Just be sure to support the video by dropping a like so I know you guys would want to see this type of content. But if you've watched content on my channel, you would know that uh, I, I think I made one video and then I made another one on this game and I, I was talking about how it, 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 it was just like overhyped I, I didn't really find the appeal to it but I'm going in with a different perspective now you know what I mean I, I have been enjoying PvP games lately so maybe maybe it'll be different right so let's check out this Halloween update and revamp whatever the case is and try to have some fun Ooh. okay that is actually very clean what the hell uh oh yeah, man, I love how a lot of games are, are making like these intro uh, type of cinematics and cutscenes for these games. It, it's it's super cool. I like it. So in the main menu over here, apparently what they've added in with this update is this battle royale mode. I don't know how this is going to work, but hey, <laughs> it's going to be our first experience. You know what I mean? Let's try to get it. So we are going to do a solo game and we're going to queue up for it. We're probably going to inevitably uh, get cla uh, clapped up, excuse me, but um it's a new game mode so i thought i'd just start off the video by showing you guys this first now to be honest i don't know how long this is gonna take but i, I have been on this little screen for a little minute you know what i'm saying so I might as well just show you guys the update log it's pretty extensive as far as like what they've added in i think they literally just sent a new message in this uh section of the discord server but um yeah you guys can see you know they've, they've added all this new stuff over here like all of this new stuff a bunch of stuff so you guys can pause the video read up on it in case if you aren't in the discord server or you don't know what's been added but i'll try to check them off one by one if we can even do that like as far as the content but again lots of new additions seemingly from what's written here and uh, a whole bunch of changes and balancing fixes as well and obviously since the update uh if you scroll down over here you guys can see they've fixed a lot of other stuff that you know has been i guess adjusted gang i'm so serious i've been on this screen for the past four minutes and it still says queued i don't like bro are people not playing this game mode or something i, I don't i don't get it yeah not gonna lie gang I, i've been on the screen for seven minutes now I, i'm leaving uh they don't even tell you like how many people are queuing up with you if any at all i out of it's it's a mess okay i'm gonna rejoin and i'll try to see if i can queue up with a party if not i'll let you guys know and we'll just go right into the main game and try to see if we can do some of the halloween update because i've been looking through the update log and literally everything seems to be geared towards people that have been actually playing the game right like it's just like like high level stuff you know <laughs> but that's my understanding okay guys we're making a character because unfortunately like the game just just yeah it's, it's not really working with us i'm not gonna lie to you i was stuck five minutes trying to queue up with a party and it still didn't work for the battle royale so i don't even know if you guys have been able to play the damn mode okay so i decided to be a soul reaper because maybe i don't know it'll be the easiest to do stuff in um i don't really know what the best race is on this game or, or best class you guys let me know and I i'll go for it um i hope this man doesn't randomly start what is he saying I don't know. Is he typing something? Oh, oh god damn. Okay, well, there are there are stuff coming our way. My dear God. Alright, brother. I shall assist you. It is my job as a soul reaper. Oh. Okay, well. We took care of everything. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh is this guy typing? What does he say? Dude, I don't know what the hell this man Bro, relax, bro, relax, bro. Like, damn. Let me go ahead and mute the music in this game. So I really don't know. Uh I think this is one of the one of the gripes that I had with this game prior is that it, I, I didn't really know what, like, there's no handheld, hold, hold, I mean, god damn it, there's no handheld in this game, so, if I remember correctly, um, I, I only played as a Quincy in this game, and then, like, I, I got to, like, level three or four, and then I quit, <laughs> so, I don't really know too much, uh, of it, but like I said, I've gotten more used to playing these type of Bleach games and stuff like that, but I think this is, maybe the quest board? No? Yes, it is the quest board, but I mean, bro, like, I mean, just even, I think this is one of the main things that I, I, I had talked about before and people were like, man, you're just yapping and blah, blah. It, it was like the UI and, and um, you know, the user interface and the user experience because it's like, bro, quest board, but there's no like button prompts or anything at all popping up to let you know. But I mean, I, I know that I can interact with this because I play beach games, right? So would I like to queue for missions with my party? Yes, I'm by myself, but 
Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, I don't really know too much of this game's combat. I know people do hype up this game's combat. Uh, I don't remember if it's oh, it is parry based. Okay, I am missing all my M ones on this guy. I don't really know how. Am I dead? Did I just die? Okay, yeah, I died. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Alrighty. Um, so it seems that we were supposed to have a quest board here, but there's no quest there, so we'll have to find another one now. They got a couple of like marked locations and stuff like that, like Shinigami, A, B, C. So I don't know if it's like capture the point. I really don't know. But uh, this whole Halloween event apparently is based around the fact that we have to find a mysterious uh, purple NPC. Don't know where that guy's at, but if you find him, it'll send you a quest uh, throughout like realms and stuff like that to become a ghost hunter. And you'll get rewarded with... Uh, a selection of um, wares, right? Like I, I guess that that would be like clothing, like weapons and stuff like that. I, I would assume. Um, and apparently, they say on the Discord that if you get um, your hands on a special core while you're doing that, a specific area in Katakura Town um, will also allow the King of the Dead to roam once more. Don't know what the hell that means, but hey, you guys know if you've been playing this game, okay? I'm just I'm just relaying the information. You're literally seeing a new trying to understand and become familiar with the game i'm just relaying the information you guys you know what i mean okay can i uh all right well the hitbox is like kind of like a little bit weird but i just got to get used to it a little bit i mean i was complaining about paradox's hitbox as well but I, I think that's a unanimous thing because a lot of people were talking about how clunky everything was um but yeah i don't know do we did we complete that quest right I don't know, right? Because if you complete a quest, turning it teleport you back to like. Dang, why are you trying to attack me, bro? I literally, I don't even have a soul reaper uniform. Bro, this man's actually bad, bro. Actually bad, dude. Crazy to me. This man literally, bro. He's using his moves on me. I don't even have like anything on me. Oh my god, I try to block that, and I'm dead. He literally hit me two times, bro, and I'm dead. You're actually bad, bro. Like. <laughs> What the hell, dude? Who the hell? Oh, this is a lost soul. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh. Yo, everything's just doing so much damage to me, bro. Like, I don't. <laughs> yo, I don't know, bro. I'm getting pieced. Oh, I'm dead. I'm getting pieced up so badly. Oh, my gosh, man. I, I don't know, bro. If you're a new player and you start playing this game with this update, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pray for you, man. Just like I'm praying for myself. So, they say in the Discord that, like, ghosts can drop ectoplasm. I don't know if that soul or lost soul was a ghost. I mean, it looked like it, right? <laughs> it's a lost soul. Um, But, yeah, just wanted to point that out because apparently ectoplasm gains you, like, when you get that as a drop, it gains you extra points in the... um. The new Halloween shop and whatnot, right? So I took on another quest. Um, I just gotta kill the invading friskers and whatnot. So let's see if we can get that done. Um, we guard bro this guy. I, I don't know what what is my button for my heavy? Is it R or is it M2? No, it's M2. Okay. Alright, because all these beach games be using like different types of uh you know buttons for their attacks and whatnot. So just wanted to yo, did I just faint? Maybe you can faint in this game. I don't really know. Okay, we got that done. I think we leveled up, actually. Um, but I could be wrong. Parry that. I don't know. We'll see. It seems that these guys have very high uh, poise, right? Because I'm attacking them, and <laughs> they're not even getting, like, hit or, or staggered by it, right? So, anyway. Bro. Hello. Hello. There you go. Good. All right, we got that done. Um, I'm not... I'm a little confused. I, I, let me see. Do we have a menu button? Not enough Shikai XP when I press the M key. I don't know what the hell that means. Maybe M key is for meditating in this game. So, and again, this, this is the problem that I originally had. And it's pointless talking to people that are like a part of this game's community, like this game or ride or dies or whatever. Because again, I said it time and time again. Yes, I do play Roblox games. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I am older than most of you guys, but like majority of Roblox now is like literal, like literal, literal, literal little kids. Like the, the logic behind everything is just so disingenuous and just so like low IQ that it's, it's, it's like, bro, are you, are you serious? You know what I'm saying? So you would propose or present very valid critique or opinions about systems and whatever the case is. And, and people is like, oh yeah, you know what? That very valid critique and opinion that you have, you're only saying that because, you know, you're you're a simulator type of guy and you play simulator games and you want everything easy. And it's like, bro, what, what the hell? 
little ass kid type of logic is that bro you know what i'm saying but anyway my whole thing is is like you know like again i, I would I would be able to get the gist of pretty much what I would have to do given that I've been playing PvP based games lately and um, you know I've played my fair share of Bleach games. I haven't sweated on them but I've played my fair share of them right? But um, like there's nothing like straightforward about this game. This is one of those games and I hate how these games do this to this day. Uh, by the way I'm looking for a quest board as I'm, I'm walking and talking to you guys. but. Like, it, it should not be that I play a game and I automatically have to go pull up a YouTube video about a little ass YouTuber kid talking about, yeah, this is how you do it. You know, like, I, I'm, like, I don't have nothing against that. Like, you know what I'm saying? As that being an avenue of content, like people making tutorials and how to's, I'm not against that, right? But it should not be that I have to look up pieces of content to learn how to play your game because you can't do that in your game. You know what I'm saying? Um, and again, it's just like yeah like i don't know i'm gonna have to press like random buttons to see okay look n n not the m key the n key opens up a, men a menu and i think this is uh literally where we'll be able to choose skills and stuff like that yeah and then we have a character breakdown for for us okay i don't know I, i'll say it again but this ui is just atrocious brother i don't care bro <laughs> Yo, this video's comments is probably gonna be the uh like so cancerous to look at it's gonna probably be just as bad as the, as the last time I, I i try to critique the ui and this stuff like that um but bro come on brother you know what i'm saying if your game is averaging 20 30 000 players 40 000 players like come on you, you can definitely get, do better than this man in my opinion um so yeah there's really nothing that i can buy it's just a bunch of like rerolls that you would buy um with your dev products and stuff i do have an accessory so I'm gonna equip that. I don't know when we got that, but I got it. So I don't know how we get skill points. We have a skill point denominator in the bottom left hand corner here. It says zero. Uh, I would assume as you get skill points, you'll be able to like learn skills here, um, obviously. But don't really know what will be the ideal build or path, right? Because you're you'll maybe they have like a hard cap for like levels and stuff like that, and there will be an ideal path or build path um, for this. Apparently, you can wipe though. What is okay? Oof. <laughs> 500 Robux to wipe. Yo, that is oh my lord, baby Jesus, bro. Okay, all right. Well, let me uh, let me uh, let me try to give the game a fair shot and just you know try to get the, like the things down and really, really you know just focus on playing because that's another thing, too. I, I've been really giving these games a shot, guys. I've been really trying to like learn them and 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 obviously. This is what I mean. You can critique a game, but the game would be good, right? Like, like it's like sorcery. Like, I liked sorcery, but I was just like, bro, there's no reason or, or way that the NPC should be doing half health damage to you. And people find ways to complain. You're just bad, bro. Skill issue. Like, it's, it's like, bro, little ass kid, bro. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys, bro. But um, anyway, uh, like I said, um, so far, uh, I, I haven't really fully adjusted to this game's combat, but combat's not bad you know what i'm saying I, I would love to have abilities though that would be like really like you know speed things up for us but yeah this is a, a pretty decent experience so far it's just like i feel like man with the the players it has the hype around this revamp update thing i cannot get the let me see if i can get the timing yeah there you go so i don't know if it, it, it's harder to parry guard broken nice um if it's harder to parry once you start getting hit as opposed to timing it like pre-hit if you will i don't know i'll figure it out is this guy hitting me instead of okay there you go we got that done with the help of that dude um so again this bar or whatever this is if it's an xp bar that filled up again so technically we should have a skill no we don't have any skill points okay guys so i'm learning a little bit about the game apparently right now i'm a trainee rank up here right so from what i've been gathering right most people say that like literally up until like grade three which i would assume every couple of levels you'll like go up as far as like your rank since i'm a trainee right now it is what it is i'm just gonna have to keep doing quests um and by way of that as well i think eventually you'll also start accumulating skill points um so apparently obviously this would be the best route i would try to get oh can i learn it yeah i could oh nice <laughs> oh. i don't know why if, if this is another thing like again here we go with the critique and people are like oh you're hating you but i'm not bro i'm not it's just like if it's a passive right why are you giving us the option to select an inventory number 
if it's a passive <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you don't need an equipment a passive you know what i'm saying um so but anyways uh yeah we have flash up unlocked so i think maybe some things might actually require zero zero um oh damn oh never mind that's the death product tab but yeah it might require zero like this there you go um oh this is also another passive hello okay so flash up obviously is gonna help us tremendously with our movement um and then the soul style it gives us access to the soul style meter which rewards you for landing m1s by granting riatsu steel on all damage based on your soul style meter okay so we have that done that should help us out uh with wait there you go i was about to say like why am i not like um flash stepping but i guess you flash step on your second uh dash so yeah, now that we have that, that'll help us out a little bit with the grinding process. So we'll take on another quest. And um, yeah, I'll just keep at it. I'll let you guys know how this goes, you know? So I didn't realize this. I don't know if that's with the soul meter thing, but in the top right-hand corner, we do have letters and stuff that pop up. Um, for example, right now, yeah, you. Like, what the hell is you? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know, but um, cool. Okay, we got that done so like i said oh and i think some of these boards are now like repopulating with quests maybe they were just like empty because everybody took the quest i don't really know but um all right we'll take that we'll do this and again i'll just let you guys know as things uh go okay there you go that guy yeah okay there we go our grade just increased that guy did hella damage there so we're now we're grade five so uh and we have five skill points okay so i think in total maybe we leveled up quote unquote like five times so i mean five times <laughs> well i mean technically maybe but i think i, I counted three so it, it maybe it'll be in sets of three um as far as like your attainment of skill points like once you get those le level ups like that um at the third interval you'll get like you know five skill points and you'll also rank up as well so it, you know skill points are more than likely tied to your actual rank ups instead of your level ups quote unquote all right anyways let's keep it going and like i said i will catch you guys hopefully when i am a higher rank and things are going a little bit better for us i also wanted to clarify i don't know why i said that heavies earlier were m2s but heavies in this game are with the r key I uh, just just want to say that because again, I don't I don't know why I thought it was the M2 key earlier One thing I'll point out and uh, this might just be me being picky. Okay, I'll be honest about this one But um, as I'm taking quests from the quest board I'm being teleported all over the goddamn place and sometimes you get teleported to areas that are not near another quest board so it kind of gets in the way of like the speed at which you're able to like take on quests. I kind of like how Para Paradox, excuse me, has done this with their quest board to where like literally once you're done with what you need to do, they'll teleport you right back to the quest board. And I keep getting teleported to this area, for example. And I, I, again, I'm a noob, so I don't know. But the closest like quest board from this area was the quest board that I just uh, showed you guys prior and um it, it takes me like three minutes to get there bro it's annoying <laughs> so yeah i i you know i would have hoped that if you took a quest they would take you right back to like your quest board or something you know? okay guys our grade just increased again i don't know what uh, we're on grade four okay so I, i'll keep it pushing still haven't allocated the stat points i just really want to like hard set myself to like getting to like grade two um or something Ooh. Oh, that's a player. Never mind. <laughs> or something like that. But I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, guys. Our grade just got increased. We're grade three. Uh, I think we're going to stop here as far as like our grades. And uh, we're going to start focusing on what they call divisions. So apparently, if you press the comma key, you can see like the different divisions and different things on the map. Like as far as the quest boards as well. So this is actually ironic because I just moments prior mentioned to you guys about how the quest boards are far away. And I don't know where the hell I'm going. Uh, if you're a new player like me press the comma key it'll tell you exactly uh where the mission boards are so all you got to do is just you know go to them uh and the reason why we're gonna stop at division i mean i at uh grade three and start doing this division stuff is because as we do the division stuff we can get to uh, grade two and then at grade two in this game uh supposedly you won't be able to uh attain any higher grades until you fight your shikai okay so i'm gonna see what division i should join and uh if that even influences or affects anything and i'll let you guys know by the way i found a uh 
Trello for the game as well. So this is definitely going to help us out. Okay, guys, after looking our, uh, at all 13 divisions, I think the best divisions to choose, in my opinion, and take it with a grain of salt because it's coming from a noob, but based on what I'm reading is Division 8 and Division 5. The reason why I say that is because Division 8, all you got to do is spawn hollows in Waco Mundo with hollow bait and kill them. And then with Division 5, you got to spawn hollows with hollow bait in Karakura Town. So that is very easy compared to like other divisions where like division four you have to heal players in soul society like what the hell bro and then division three go to rulecon and carry lost souls to the checkpoint it's like bro what so i'd rather just sit in place use bait and kill hollows it's super simple so with that being said uh i think i'm gonna follow through with division five which is over here because um division eight is cool too but we would have to find a way to get to waco mundo which i don't know if we would have but if you've played games before you'd know that with the senkai mon um easily as a soul reaper shinigami you'll be able to go into uh, karakuru town so i can guarantee myself that i can get to karakuru town at the very least but i don't know so much about waco mundo so we're gonna go with division five all right guys here we go this is division five there's actually a decent amount of people here already um so let me turn this off and we have captain five let me talk to these guys see what's what's up so would you like to join division five uh, why yes my good sir Am I in? Leave your current division first. What the hell, you bastard? I'm in your division. All right, anyway, we have division five duties and then a division uh, quest board over here. And I don't know what this is. Okay, it's nothing. So, um, like I told you guys, once you get to, to grade three um, anyways, apparently, I didn't I didn't know this. I don't, I don't think I mentioned to you guys actually, but um, you won't be able to get um, XP uh, to go into grade two anyways. You need to get to a division which these missions on the division board will give you uh division xp and then your grade xp to get to you know grade two so just thought i'd point that out now for the duties accept the division duty in karakura town and lower the hollow count oh okay sir but can i just do the quest board would you like to queue up for a mission yes yes indeed oh my god they teleported me all the way over here brother maybe i should have just went to the division duties <laughs> i don't know we'll see dude so i don't really know guys on my way over here i, I was like literally setting up my abilities or my skills and this damn soul started uh, attacking me its name is candy too like what the i don't understand bro <laughs> i'm kind of confused gang i'm not gonna lie to you man and i'm messing up my 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 stuff here real badly because i don't even know the combo game bro like what what oh my lord like what what do i do how do i attack like what do i string together of my abilities i don't know bro <laughs> i just unlocked them gang and he's attacking me <laughs> it's actually high key bullying gang can i hit him there you go okay mess that up okay wait a minute block that okay 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 block that okay yo i'm so dead like i'm literally so close to dying bro the thrust should hit him there i don't even know if i can kill i'm so cooked i'm cooked i'm cooked <laughs> well i to be honest i was blindsided okay that's my excuse oh maybe i should just reset because i i literally reset in the division okay fifth division duties let's say yes oh, it just takes you to kind of cool to town bro it's so easy bro and this is good actually because i have to see oh nice okay so now that we're in Karakuru Town, I can actually finally showcase to you guys the uh, the Halloween event. So, okay, let me try to look around and I'll keep you guys updated. The Karakuru Town in this game does not look like Karakuru Town, but apparently this has been like redone in a way. Why did I get teleported back to the middle? Why do I keep getting teleported back in the middle? Is this a mini game? Okay, I just die or what is going on here okay guys i made my way down over here um like we started off over there and then you go down to this like little area it's like a like a little park or whatever and apparently uh to get started with the halloween stuff you want to follow this this direction um i don't know this is all very confusing it's my first time being here so just bear with me but <laughs> we'll get there i think hopefully i don't know and it's very dark in this area as well so um okay yeah so you want to go down this way and then you'll come across this thing over here so what oh my gosh i don't know this area is very weird because uh, you saw earlier what had happened where i got teleported and killed uh things aren't loading right i don't know if it's just a server that's really bad or what but i'm i'm gonna 
give them the benefit of the doubt and say that it's probably the server that's like not not that great right now but this is weird bro i literally got teleported back to the park again like what like, what is going on? bro look at this bro what is going on gang dog like everybody in the server is complaining about like this lag and stuff like that i don't really understand what's going on man but uh i might end up leaving this so that we can join another one because i don't know what's up with this server right here but all right anyways like i told you guys let's let's keep going in the direction that we were trying to go to uh or go through originally so anyway guys remember that little area that i was i was showing you guys that we were going down all right let me just show you just in case because you guys might be confused and it just teleported me again what the hell is going on with this damn server bro oh my god uh so th yeah this area uh when you cut the corner like you just want to keep going you just want to keep going down guys I, i'm getting so annoyed right now with this game bro like what is hell is going on bro and i just got recent bro my god this game dog i'm really trying my best not to be negative but it's like god damn bro like how bad can you be okay so let's try this again i went into a completely different server and hopefully nothing bad happens this time around so like i said once you make your way down to this little court area or whatever the case is just go straight down and then uh you'll go ahead and uh, make a right over here and you'll see this area you just want to jump all the way down apparently like literally like all the way down so uh you guys can see just like all the way down after all these areas so once you get to the bottom um you want to make your way towards like it's like a little area where i'll try to show you guys hold on you're gonna have to explore a little bit but i'll let you guys know how it is all right here you go um this is the area how it looks like and it, matter of fact if you press the comma key you can see the mysterious witch they actually have it even marked on the map for you guys that's the new npc so she's gonna be like in a in a purple outfit as you guys can see and that's where you head to so if you guys don't feel like following the path i showed you then um you guys can just again just press the comma key and just follow the path to the mysterious witch but um she says you seem quite frail. I don't think you can handle the Halloween spirit. Oh god damn it. I can't even show you guys. But once you talk to her, um, she'll have like the whole quest stuff that you need to get going with and the shop, uh, and whatever the case is else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So just wanted to show that to you guys. Now, as far as me, you know, I, I am here to fight some hollows. I don't know where the hollows are gonna be at, but I I will figure it out. Alright, I'm definitely hearing people attack. But I think that is, is literally, yeah, it's PvP in the freaking park. Oh my god. Uh, is that a quest board here? That is not a quest board. Okay. Oh, I found a hollow. All right. So I guess, yeah, I guess you are just going to have to look for them. Um, and they'll probably be spawned around this damn bridge or something. I don't know. But, um, there you go. We got one done. We don't really get a lot of XP for that, though. But hey, we just got to get to, um, to grade two somehow. Also, I didn't really talk about it, but I ended up putting, uh, you know, my skill points for now into Kendo. Um, I can't really get the, the, the Sen Mairoshi or whatever the heck this is, but I thought they would be better than some of my Kido abilities because some of these abilities didn't look bad, but I was looking at the trailer. I'm like, bro, like they're not like all that. So I thought it would be better just to use my, um, my M1s and, um, just some like blade abilities. You know? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to get annoyed beyond belief right now. Um, I made my way back over here because a, a spirit randomly popped up and killed me like in a, <laughs> in a full combo string uh, in Katakura Town. And then I come back here and these guys are like like fighting and continually killing each other in the division. Like, bro, like why? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, we're back out over here. Um, this is a little confusing because apparently this Katakura town is completely new to this update. I thought they had revamped it at some other point, but supposedly did they put me back into a laggy ass server. I think they did. I don't know. But okay. Anyway, supposedly what you're supposed to do when you're in Katakura town, bro, I think we are in a laggy ass server again. Um, you're supposed to look for, oh I'm really about here like to just be cursing and stuff on this game, bro. Like, what is this update, bro? My God. Um, I don't know. Let me join this server, I guess. Wow. <laughs> Never mind. Let me join this one, I guess. So basically, with the new Karakura Town, it's kind of weird because we're supposed to have a division quest board and stuff so that we can continue getting division XP and mission XP. Um, and you know, level up pretty quickly. But I don't see where that's at. So I'm going to have to manually look 
and talk to all these NPCs and see which one is the one that we got to go to. I don't know. I'll let you guys know, though. But I, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I have not seen anybody talk about this. So maybe they changed that up but didn't really think about it. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Okay, so th this NPC is not it. But yeah, I mean, like, didn't think about it as in, like, the devs made this new Karakuda town, but they didn't put in the new quest board and stuff like that. I don't know, right? I'm just saying. Ah, uh, my frustrations continue, my brother. I've somehow fallen off the map. I don't know if I'll be able to get back up to it, but I can't reset on this game. So if I don't find a way to get back onto the map, oh, maybe, maybe over here. I, yeah, I was about to be cooked, gang. Like, I, I I don't know, man. Okay, actually, yeah, I can make it back on the map. There you go. Actually, guys, after I get done with this hollow, I'll show you. Um, I figured out where the uh, mission board is at. So, well, let me just try to get this done here. I messed that up. Great. The hollows are a little bit more annoying to kill here than they are in uh, Katakuru Town. I don't really know. Maybe it's just that I'm getting very frustrated with everything so far. Like, the lag, the, the, oh my God, the players. Like, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> right? All right, got that done. Cool. So, um, yeah, here we go, guys. You see where it says bounty missions? Wait, not missions, but they have mission duties or whatever the case is. We're going to try to make our way over there. And uh, do we go there through here or do we go there by being up there? I, I don't know. We'll see. Wait, no way this thing is across the bridge. I was literally here before. How did I not notice this? Okay. All right, well, it appears it is. So this is the soul that ended up killing me before. I'm going to try to ignore it and we'll go over here. And I, I don't like, listen, bro, this is what I'm saying about this game and the way things are done. Um, and again, I, I, I know for damn sure already people are probably going to be talking trash in the comments. But to me, it's just like, bro, like well, if, if I'm here because I clicked on a duties quest board, how difficult is it for y'all to like literally make us like go to the division duties area instead of the middle of Katakura town. Like I don't like, I don't know. It's just these little things that like, again, you would talk about and are very, very straightforward and obvious. But then people, people were like, oh, you're just, hey, you're just trash, kill this, you're just kill this, you. And it's, oh God. Dude, and this thing is like far. Look at where the bridge is at and where I had to come up to um try to maybe get to this division duties area. Can you imagine we go this way and like we end up not being able to get there? I don't know who that is over there, by the way. There's somebody in like, what is that? Huh. I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm going to go see. Hopefully, I don't die in the process if I can't even go up there. Yeah, I don't think I can actually. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, I don't know what that is. But that's something rare and I, I missed out on picking that up because of whatever reason. It is what it is, you know? What the hell? Why did? Why is this taking me to the Quincy here? So this is how you get to the Quincy's now, bro. Oh my Jesus, bro. <laughs> All right, now nah, I'm done. I'm done. All right, well, I'll continue this in another video. If you guys want to see another video, just let me know. I uh, will try to unlock our shit, Kai, but what in the actual hell, bro?